Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, who will well and teach well, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect, and shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Irazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And pretty much in this lesson, it's going to be taught as there is no free there is no free will. You don't have your own free will. There is no free will. And we're going to prove that in the scriptures. Because you have uh, a lot of people, they have the prosperity doctrine where they believe they have their own free will and they can do whatever they want. And that's not in the scriptures. That's not in the Bible. So, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. This is Proverbs 16 and 1. It says, The preparations of the heart is, it says, The preparation of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. You see that? It's from the Lord. The things that we do is of the Lord. Men's goings are of the Lord. So you do not have your own free will. You don't. It's of the Lord's will. Everything is of the Lord's will. Whether you wake up, right? You go to sleep and you wake up. That's the will of the Lord. When you make it to your destination and back, you go to work and you come back home. That is of the Lord. When you eat, that is of the Lord. Use the restroom. That is of the Lord. Everything you do in this lifetime, in this mortal flesh, is of the Lord. The Lord is allowing your heart to beat right. Your body to function. Everything is of the Lord. You don't have your own free will. It's not in the scriptures. It's not in the scriptures. And if you're a person that disagree, don't watch this video. You don't believe in the Lord. You're an unbeliever. And the Lord is going to destroy you anyway. Proverbs 20 and 24. It says, men's goings are of the Lord. Wait a minute. I thought I had my own free will. Right? I thought I had my own free will. Let's read that again. Proverbs 20 and 24. Men's goings are of the Lord. Men's goings are of the Lord. So the things that you do out or the things that you play out throughout the day is of the Lord. It's not of you. It's of the Lord. It says, how can a man understand his own way? How can a man understand his own way? You can't, you, you don't know the things that you do. The Lord is the one that downloaded us into our bodies and up into our spirits to do what we do on the earth. It is not of you doing it. I have my own free will. No, you don't have your own free will. This is why we fear the Lord. Because the Lord is allowing you to live another day. The body that you even have is not even your body. It's the Lord. It's loaned to you. This this flesh that you're in, that you're using to dwell on the earth, is of the Lord's within itself. That body is loaned to you. You're on a grace period with the Lord's body that he gave you. Because he can take it from you. That's why people be put to death on the earth. Right? The Lord executes his judgment on the earth. Because you're not doing the, the you're not doing his will. You're not doing the things that he's telling you to do. You believe you can do what you want to do and you can't do the things that you do. The Lord is the one that is the one that's allowing you to live another day on the earth. You don't have your own free will. It's not in the scriptures. It's not in the scriptures. Right? This is Proverbs 21 and verse 1. This is Proverbs 21 and 1. And it says the king, it says the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. You see that? The hand of the Lord. Right? And it says, as the rivers of water, he turneth it whatsoever he will. See that? The Lord's will. Not yours. The Lord's will. So everything we do is of the Lord. This is why we pray and we ask the Lord for mercy. Because he's, he's allowing us to live another day on this earth. He woke us up to live a, another day on this earth. To dwell a whole another day on this earth. To continually dwell on the earth another day. That is mercy there. That is mercy there. That is straight mercy from the Lord. You don't have your own free will on the earth. You don't. You don't. Because you don't even know if you're going to be here tomorrow or not. That's why we always say Lord willing. Because it's of the Lord's will if you're going to live another day. Because you can, you can die in your sleep. You can be judged. You can receive judgment within this day. You don't know that. That's why we pray and we ask the Lord for mercy. Because the Lord does not have to give mercy to us, man. It's Jeremiah 10 and um, 3. It's Jeremiah. Yeah, it's a lot. It's Jeremiah ten and three, and it says, "For the customs, for the customs of the people are vain, right? 
It says for one color. Uh, nope, that's not it. Salakia. So like I'm in the wrong precept. I'm in supposed to be in 23. Salakia. So like this is Jeremiah 10 and 23. John, Jeremiah 10 and 23. Salakia. So like I was reading the wrong scripture. It says, Oh Lord, I know that the way of man is in is in Salakia. So like it says, Oh Lord, I know that the way of the of man is not in himself. You see that? It says, Oh Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. So if you have your own free will, why does the scripture say right here, Oh Lord, I know I know that the way of man is not in himself. It's not in himself to, to do that, right? It says, It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. It's not in men to do that. It's the Lord that does that. The Lord is the one that sets that up, man. He's the one that downloads. He's the one that downloads in our bodies the things that we are to do on our earth, man. The Lord does it. He downloads it in our bodies to do the things that we do. You don't have your own free will, man. You don't. It's not in the scriptures. Right? The scriptures is right here telling you that you don't have your own free will. You know? And again, each and every one of us individually has our own lot that we got to play out. The Lord already set it up. So you just doing it. You doing. You're doing what the Lord has already downloaded within you to do on the earth. Each and every one of us individually has our lot. Our lot could be a two. Could be a two third, or it could be of the elect. We don't know what our lot is. We just basically plan it out. That's what makes it scary, because you could you could think you're in this thing to be of the elect, and you could be a two third. You don't know that. This is why we ask the Lord for mercy, because yeah, we're we're, we're the one on the earth. Each and every one of us individually have our own lots to play out that we don't even know what's the end, what's at the end for us. We that's why we do a lot of hopeful. We are prisoners of hope, right? The scriptures even mention that being a, a prisoner of hope, because you don't know what your lot is. You don't know what your lot is. Let's read that again. Jeremiah ten and twenty three. It says, "Oh Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself." See, the way of man is not in himself. So. Men's goings are the Lord. The Lord established that. He set it up. Right? It says, It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. So you don't you don't know what you're gonna do. The Lord is the one that downloaded it upon you to do. Just by me doing this lesson, the Lord set it up for me to do a lesson. The Lord put it within my spirit to do this. The Lord already knew that I was gonna do this at this particular time right now. The Lord set that up. Just by me doing a lesson right now in this video, the Lord set that up. He already knew I was going to do that. He set it up. He downloaded it into my spirit to do it. That's how powerful the Lord is. You do not have your own free will. You're, you're not in control of what you do. All right. Let's get out that. Sirach. This is Sirach 33. And um, let me get that out real quick. Sirach 33 and 13. Sirach 18 and 3. This is Sirach. 18 and 3. Sirach 18 and 3. It says, it says, who governed the world with the palm of his hand? It says, and all things obey his will. All things obey his he will. Talking about the Heavenly Father, man. All things obey his will. He downloaded it into us to do the things that we do. We all, again, we all have our own lots that we got to play out on the earth. None of us know our lots. We just playing it out. We don't know what our judgment is at the end. This is why we're trying to endure, trying to make it, because we don't know what our lots is being on this earth, man. Like Judas Iscariot, we can use him. He didn't know that he was going to betray the Messiah. He didn't know that. Peter didn't know that. Peter didn't know that he was going to deny the Messiah three times. He was going to do that. He didn't know that. But that was his lot, though. That was his lot. That was his lot that he was going to play out to do. You see that? So you don't know your lot. This is why we know that you don't have your own free will and it's not in the scriptures. Because you have to play out what the Lord ordained for you to do. It's already set up. You, We're just all playing it out. That's what makes this scary, man. That's what makes this scary. Read it again. Sirach 18 and 3. It says, who governed the world with the palm of his hand? Right? It says, and, it says, and all things obey his will. Right? And it says, for he is the king of all. By his power, dividing holy things among them from profane. You see that? So everything is of the Lord's will. He set it up. You don't have your own free will. You're just playing out your lot. The Lord works in perfect balance. He, he already has the two-thirds lots already played out. 
He already has the Alex lots already played, already laid out. We just playing it out. So either you're going to be a two third or you're going to be of the elect. None of us know. This is why we say we're the hopeful elect because we don't know who the elect is. The Lord has it already set up, but we 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 got to play. We got to play what our 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 lots are, you know. And we pray that we make it to be the elect. You know, that's all we can do in this truth. So, you know, your your own free will is not in the scriptures. That's just a philosophy given by the 501c3 charter church and the philosophies of Esau. Because according to the Bible, you don't have your own free will. We're reading it right here. You don't have your own free will. It's not in the scriptures. It's not in the scriptures. It's not in the scriptures, man. All right. Let's get out that uh, Sirach 33 and uh, 13. This is a rock 33 and 13. And it says, as the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it right at his pleasure. So men is in the hand of him that made him. You see that? So the Lord is the one that created us. He's the one that downloaded all of this in, in us to do. The things that we do, the Lord already did it because he created us. He's our creator, man. The scriptures say, uh, uh, remember thy creator in the days of thy youth. Right? So we got to remember our creator. Yahweh Bashim Shai. He's our creator. Right? It says, Remember thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days draw nigh. Right? This probably paraphrasing. Right? So we got to remember our creator in the days of thy youth. Our creator is Yahweh Bashim Shai. He created us. So if he created us, he know, he he put within us what to do. Let's see that again. Sirach 33, 13. It says, As the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him. See, men are in the hand of him that made him to render to them as liketh him best. You see that? So the Lord put it within us to do the things that we do. He downloaded it within us to do the things that we do. So we don't we don't do the things that we want to do because we just do it. No. The Lord put it within us to do it. The Lord created us and he men's goings are the Lord. He downloaded it within our spirit to do the things that we do on our earth. Whether it's to be wicked or whether it's to be righteous. The Lord already has a lot set up. He already did set all this up. You just plan it out. That's how powerful our Lord is, man. You Jake's over here think you got your own free will. You don't have your own free will. I mean, if you want to deceive yourself and believe that, you can, but the Lord already set it up. You're just playing out your lot. Each and every one of us individually has a lot that we have to play out. So Rock 39, and uh, I think it's verse... Uh, so like it. Sirach 39 and uh, 18. This is Sirach 39 and 18. It says, At his commandment, you see, at his commandment, at his commandment, right, is done whatsoever pleaseth him. See, at his commandment is done whatsoever pleases him. You see that? So you don't have your own free will there. It's the Lord that's doing it, man. Right? And it says, and none can hinder when he will save. And none can hinder when he will save. So everything is done of the Lord, man. Everything is done of the Lord, man. This is what makes our, our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, so powerful. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, man. He's our powerful power, man. You know? Damn, that's marvelous there. Let's get out that uh, Revelation uh, 17, 17. And we'll wrap it up with that. So again, you don't have your own free will in this thing. All right? Revelation 17, 17, it says, For the Most High have put in their hearts, meaning their minds, to fulfill His will is downloaded within us. It's downloaded within us, man. We don't have our own free will out here. And if you are a person that believes you have your own free wills, that's you. But guess what? You're going to be destroyed because you don't have your own free will out here. Read that again. Revelation 17, 17. It says, for the Most High have put in their hearts, minds, to fulfill His will. You see that? Not your own. Right? And it says, and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of the Most High shall be fulfilled. So there you go. We're all playing our own lots out individually. Whether it's on the left hand side or whether it's on the right hand side. Whether it's to be wicked or it's to be righteous. We are all playing out our lots that the Lord already set up, laid out. We playing it up. We just playing it out. He set it out. He set it up already. The Lord already set it up. 
And we're playing those lots out that he put that he placed on us. We're playing it out. So again, you do not have your own free will in this thing. You don't. Men's goings are the Lord. It is the Lord's will. It is the Lord's will. So hey, Lord willing, this lesson's edifying. I want to give our honors and glories and praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Yahweh Kakodash. And double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who will will and teach well. Because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. And shalom to you, sincere brothers and you, sincere sisters, you, sincere sisters that's listening to science as scripture say, do so. I'm the brother Mashiach Arazaka. And to the next one, shalom.